Hallelujah. I'd like to share this thing I found out with you. And it's about the fact that you are still on the front line of God, even if you are not on the front line of men. In every field you find yourself, especially in ministry, church business, let's consider our father Abraham. In the book of Genesis chapter 18, Abraham received visitors. There were three men and he pleaded with them, please do not go, stay with me. I want you to be comfortable. They agreed and he quickly ran to his tent, found Sarah, found some young men and asked them to quickly prepare food for these men. Sarah in the tent, behind the scenes, prepared the food which these three men enjoyed. Abraham received them, welcomed them, but he necessarily is not the one was not the one who prepared the meal. Sarah, after preparing, gave it to Abraham and Abraham is the one who saved it. So it was more like Abraham on the forefront and Sarah within the tent. But because God knows everything, when pronouncing the blessing asked of Sarah, God sees everything we do. He knew the one who had done the major part of the cooking. He knew the one who was behind the good food, the tasty dish they were having. God knows your role and what you do in his kingdom. God knows what you are doing to sustain that business, even though you are not the face of it. God knows what goes into production of whatever you have been doing. Radio stations have producers and other staff, I mean TV media, who work behind the scenes to make the program what it is. Though they may never be seen, they do not go unrewarded. And I want to encourage you that God knows and sees your role, your faithfulness, your commitment to whatever you are doing. Your prayer that you are putting into that ministry that is bringing so much fruitfulness. When Moses had that encounter in the bush, the burning bush experience, you know what? It was the result of the prayer and the cry of Israelites, among whom he was not found. Yet their prayer, the prayer they had put in, it was time for God to answer. And that's how come God said, the cry of my people has come up to me and you are the one I want to go and deliver them. Sometimes some opportunities come our way and we think that it is our own doing or our own strength, prayer, whatever. But I want you and I to understand today that it isn't always so. It was the many years of crying that the Israelites had cried, the prayer they had prayed, that caused the hand of God to move and pick somebody he had been preparing in the back yard for years. And it is my prayer that the prayer of people will lead the hand of God to you, to select you. And after we have been selected, may we be humble enough to recognize that this is not our doing, but it is the doing of the Lord. This humbles me so much. That is why it's not by mind and it's not by power, but by the Spirit of God. I pray that these two reports from the Bible, Exodus chapter 3 and Genesis chapter 18, would open our eyes to this new thing. May the Lord bless you for every role you have played in ministry, especially in ours. And may the Lord who remembers 
remember you and bring you favor. No matter how much we may think you are in the background, the God who sees all things shall reward you. God bless you and enjoy the rest of the days ahead. Amen.